the next change or fix on the OS stream is this dinette table, which you can see it. It's kind of hard to tell from in the video, but number one, it's not level. It kind of slopes down this way. And number two, it's not super sturdy. Um, it can move a lot. Um, again, it's difficult to tell in the video, but um, it is. And so it's really annoying me. And the problem, there's two different problems. One is that it uses this telescoping um, <clears throat> post. And this is used to, you know, lower it, raise and lower it. And then this thing also slides in and out on these tracks and spins. And so that's so you can, you know, lower this thing and slide it underneath the cushions here and make it into a bed. Um, and the problem is the sliding tracks on here, are, you know, are a little bit loosey-goosey. This telescoping post is actually, when you tighten it up here, it's not perfectly vertical. Um, so I'd have to put some spacers in. But, so the thing is, we're not going to be using this as a bed at all. If someone wants to come and visit with us and stay with us, they can sleep on the couch or we'll get them a tent or something. So I don't care about so much being able to convert this into a bed. So what I'm going to do is just remove the sliding tracks that are in there and bolt the table right to the telescoping thing and put spacers in there to make it level. And that'll make it much more sturdy without those, those sliding tracks and it'll make it level. So I'm going to unscrew it first. I unbolted the table, the dynamic table. There it is right there. There's the bottom of it. And here's the little, you know, telescoping arms I was talking about that you could slide the table in and out. Um, but these things, you know, they got a little play in them, which is why the table is it's not great when it's just sitting there. So I unbolted these, I took them off, and now I'm just left with this telescoping pad, which is pretty sturdy. It's a little bit not level. Again, it's because of these, you know, these cranks. When you turn, when you take this off, you know, I can get it level. It's got some play in it while they're loose. When you tighten them up, it sometimes tight, it tightens uh, a little bit, a little bit off plumb. So what I'm going to do now is I cut some spacers out of some aluminum stock and put holes in them. So I'm going to put two spacers here and over here, and then just screw the table up on top of that, and it'll be a lot sturdier and it'll be level. And it'll fortunately still, I mean, I still have this telescoping thing, so I can still raise and lower it and I can still turn it and pivot it if I want to. I just can't slide it in and out, which is what you need to do when you make this into a bed, but I don't really care about that. So, gotta go buy some longer screws though for this. I've had uh, this map for a while and I've had the, the thought that, hey, I should glue a map like this down on top of the dinette table it'd be really cool as we're traveling to just have it right there and it's part of the table. So now that I got the dinette table off, uh, I want to glue or, you know, glue a map on there and make it sort of just make it the tabletop basically. So that's what I'm going to do next. I since, I since found out that it's called decoupage. 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 What do you want for dinner? Decoupage. <laughs> Here's the tabletop for the Airstream, which as I took off. There's the back of it. So we're going to put the map on here now. And I'm just debating whether to glue the map to the top or to the bottom. I could technically glue it to the bottom and then screw in from the into the top. You know, underneath just flipped over. And the only advantage of that would be if I ever want to undo it or just I want this back, this original you know, look back, um, I can flip it over, except for the fact that there'll be four little screw holes in here. So I don't know. I think I'm still might just do it like this anyway, and then I'll, I'll glue it on here. So, and here's the map, which I just got from Amazon, map of the U.S. So step one is brush on this Mod Podge, whatever glue, and then just get this thing glued down really nicely. Um, yep, and then we'll take it from there. Okay, I don't really know how much. I think we just want a nice thin layer that's gonna completely coat it. Okay, let's roll 
ribs. And then here. Oh no. I already see a problem. Map. Map's getting all crinkly here where. Oh boy, that did not come out good. Did I put too much in or what happened? Oh, oh no, it all shriveled up. With hair and... Oh boy, I'm gonna have to do this all over again. With a whole new map. Wow, that's terrible. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to fix that. You can see what happened. The map, unlike the video I watched, just completely, you know, lost its shape. I'm still trying to make this first try at, it, at doing this work. You know, the, the map really bubbled up a lot. I probably maybe used too much glue. I think maybe I went a little too fast. So if I, I think if I used less glue, went a little slower, used a, roll, a good roller, I probably could have done it without it bubbling up that much. It doesn't look, I mean, it looks pretty good right now because of the way the light is, but you know, if you hold it up to where you get to kind of get that glare in, you can see all the little ridges and stuff from where the mat bubbled up from the glue. Um, in a lot of places it looks fine because it looks like it's just the mountains, you know, like a 3D piece of the mountains, but we'll see if it, you know, I can still, um, you know, I'll finish this, I'll cut the edges, I'll, I'll put the, uh, the poly on top of it and everything and if it um if it looks fine in the end then great if not i can redo it do it again or do it on the other side so try to make it work so i got most of the little crinkles out of it as best i could i mean there's still a lot you can't tell unless there's a glare um but we're gonna just see how it works so now i'm gonna put on the spar marine varnish Again, something I just kind of learned on the internet. See how it works, if it makes it any worse or not. I've got two coats of, of that varnish on there. So I'm gonna put at least another one, maybe another two, I'm not sure. I mean, it looks good like this. But, man, it still has all those wrinkles, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might order another map and try it on the other side. I just, I've got so many things i got to do on my list that making this thing perfect, you know, falls lower on the priority list. But I also not hate not having it be as good as it can be, you know, based on what I just learned from doing it this first time. But, decoupage, take two. So... Obviously, I didn't like the way this came out. I'm going to try it again. I bought a new map, which I'm going to glue, or try to glue here, on the opposite side, on the good side of the table. So, hopefully, it works out. I won't be able to reuse this, but I like throwing caution into the wind. So, two things I'm going to do different than last time. Number one, I'm going to spray some water mist on the back here just lightly damp it to make it uh, easy to work with they say to do that and i also got myself a roller this time so to help out i sprayed the water on here i forgot to record and i'm just wiping off the excess and i'm also going to try to use less glue than last time well, i don't think i used a whole heck of a lot last time but
the glue all dried and it's a lot better than the other side. Um, my only concern is if there's any spots where the glue didn't quite adhere, but I think it might be pretty good. So now I gotta just cut the excess around the edges. So. Don't touch it, Logan. All right, so I got it all cut and prepped, and now to put on the first coat of the Spar Marine Varnish. So the finished varnishing the table, and uh, got to install it back on here now. So I'm just positioning it, and got to mark the holes, put the spacers in, and see what happens. So. Boy in. Here it is, all installed. And I didn't show it on the video, but I actually went and um, instead of just doing the spar varnish, I put a, a, a water-based uh, polyurethane spray on it because the spar varnish was just having trouble with keeping it, it was making it bubble up. And I gotta say this, this water-based poly that I put on here, and this isn't really going to be outside, so it doesn't really need to be that that durable. But um, it looks great. It's got like a, just a flat finish. It feels great. It looks good. There's no real bubbling, and I'm really happy with the way it came out. So there it is, and it's nice and sturdy. We got our mat. It can still spin and raise and lower. So and even turn it. The whole table. And here we have it. Decoupage incarnate. Decoupage. It is decoupage. 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 This right here, this is decoupage. Decoupage. <laughs>